Imagine that you could capture rich, dynamic, hole-free scans of people, and imagine they were fully registered, allowing you to compute optical flow, depth, or normal images from them. Not only for a particular subject, but for a set of them, and for multiple sequences per subject. With Dynamic Faust, we achieve this by registering more than 40,000 high-quality dynamic scans based on their geometry and color. Our capture system uses 22 RGB cameras and several LED light panels. To capture geometry accurately, it also uses 22 pairs of grayscale cameras that capture the scene under speckle illumination. The system first uses this illumination to compute stereo and reconstruct the 3D scan of the person. After a delay of 4 milliseconds, the LED panels illuminate the scene and the RGB cameras capture images of the body. The process repeats every 16 milliseconds. The question is, how can we exploit all this data to obtain accurate registrations? In previous work, Faust registers the geometry and images of a scan to a common template. Since the subject is static, the delay between image and geometry capture has no effect. Considering bodies in motion, Dyna exploited the scan geometry but disregarded the images from the scan due to the delay between color and geometry. We propose the following solution. Optimize two sets of vertices per frame, one fitting the images through the photogrammetric error and one fitting the geometry. Since those sets could theoretically deviate from each other, we include a velocity coupling term that encourages constant velocity in this 16 millisecond neighborhood. However, there's a remaining question. How do we initialize those vertices? If we consider Dyna registrations for those vertices and a personal texture map per subject, we can synthesize a virtual image to be compared to the real one. However, the sliding produced by color agnostic registrations in Dyna create residuals which are difficult to optimize with a local photogrammetric loss. Our approach starts from the Dyna registrations, but considers the original scan images to create a texture map per frame. To minimize the differences between those maps caused by sliding, we compute visual correspondences between these frames in an arbitrarily chosen reference map. Optimizing the per frame vertices to minimize such motion should improve the geometry sliding, but must be regularized by the more reliable inter-frame matches and spatial smoothness. As a result, we obtained match-based registrations which contain substantially less sliding, suitable for the optimization including not only the photogrammetric loss, but also the geometric and velocity coupling one. The Dyna original registrations look compelling. However, the projection of the real images into the mesh, here shown as a texture map, reveals a considerable amount of sliding. This is not a problem of this particular subject or motion. All bodies and actions are subject to sliding, which is only natural since they did not take into consideration the real images. Dynamic Faust registrations look at a first glance similar to the ones from Dyna. However, examining the meshes on the right in detail, you can see that the soft tissue motion is better captured by Dynamic Faust. It's even more obvious when showing the projected texture map after our optimization, where the Dynamic Faust textures look much more stable, denoting reliable correspondences between skin and mesh. This can be observed in sequences from other subjects. Pay attention to how the red and blue stamps remain static in the registrations from Dynamic Faust, while they follow up to a certain degree the motion in Dyna. These corrections are successful in bodies of all types and present in all body areas, including legs and arms in the upper right corner of the texture map. Even faces which lack the stamp texture pattern clearly benefit from the appearance stabilization. This degree of realism allows us to render the registrations almost indistinguishable from real images when placed side by side. An evaluation based on the optical flow between real and synthetic images shows that more than 94% of a total of more than 5 billion scan vertices show a mismatch of less than 1 pixel, and 82% of the scan points satisfy all geometry, image, and motion evaluation criteria mentioned in the paper. The DFAUST dataset is the largest collection of 3D human scans with accurate ground truth correspondence. Time-varying 3D data is becoming more available, and extending computer vision algorithms to deal with such data is important. To develop and test new methods to deal with such data, the field requires rich raw data and associated ground truth. DFAUST fills an important need in the community, supporting research in vision, graphics, and machine learning.